That's, that's really important. But what the Lord, I felt, was leading me to talk about tonight, to kind of set the stage for what we'll be saying about forgiveness and healing, is mercy. That God is a God of mercy. And I realized, I went through qu quite a few books on forgiveness, and very few, RTs was one that did, very few mentioned mercy. And I thought, I've never really taught about mercy either. And I can't remember, I'm sure Francis, who is Mr. Mercy, you know, has taught about it. He probably did, and I don't remember. But I thought it might be good to go over that tonight, because my experience working as a therapist and also as a healer uh, for these many years now is that very few people have a positive image of God. And very few people really truly understand the mercy of God, the mercy of Jesus, and how the Holy Spirit leads us into that. So I wanted to just kind of introduce it that way. If you go through the New Testament, there's two subjects. Jesus really had two subjects. Uh, one is forgiveness, and the other one is love. Father Richard Rohr said that two-thirds of what Jesus talked about had to do directly or indirectly with forgiveness. And so when we bring love and forgiveness before the Father, we find mercy in order for those to be in our hearts and in our lives and extended to the people in our lives. Now, the Holy Spirit, and this is something we feel very strongly about, and I know it runs contrary to maybe what you, th you do in your own life. The Holy Spirit is the only one that can convict of sin. Now, I know all of you have tried, <laughs> okay? Because I, I know people, okay? I remember when our son or our daughter, they'd do something wrong, you know? And instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to deal with them, you know, I would say, don't you feel guilty? What's a stupid question to ask a teenager, you know? Because they'd say, no, we had fun, you know? <laughs> And I learned when I was in private practice and in the hospitals where I worked, uh, it didn't work to try and make someone feel guilty. Have you found that in your own life? You know, and it's, it's just the Holy Spirit convicts of sin. 